Hey, Joe here from Home Studio Corner. If you own one of these old suckers, I'm gonna show you a cool recording trick that you may not have known about. For a lot of us, recording ourselves is a part of the game. So we have to do that dance of having our instrument ready and then pushing the record button or pushing, you know, command space bar on the keyboard, whatever you do to start and stop recording. Ideally, you'd have an assistant who could punch you in and who could start, start and stop recording and do all that stuff. That's not so much a luxury a lot of us get to have. So we have to figure out how to do it on our own. Punching in is super helpful. So you may play a full take and then there's just these two bars that you messed up on. You just want to punch in and punch back out. So start recording and then stop recording. In the old tape days, you'd have a skilled engineer who would man the punch in button, hit record at just the right spot and then hit record to get you out of recording. And if he did it right, it would be seamless and you wouldn't really hear it. With a digital system, I've already done a few videos on how to use pre-roll to automatically start the recording. I've shown you how to use the loop points and something called auto punch or quick punch to have it start and stop recording automatically. But sometimes that's just too much clicking that gets you out of the mojo of what you're playing. Sometimes you just like to start and stop recording and not have to go and analyze and select and then set the, it, sometimes that's too much work. One thing that I like to do, and I haven't done it in a long time, but somebody reminded me of this, is take a normal sustain pedal. So. This, this is just the normal M Audio. I don't think they make it anymore. Any like sustain pedal or foot switch that has an on off, that momentary switch will do. Then you plug it into the back. There's a foot switch input on the back of that fader port. And all this does is essentially it ties that foot switch to the record button on the fader port. So if you look at Studio One, if I just push my foot on it, it starts recording. Then when I click it again, it stops recording. That's literally it. I can start recording, and then I can also punch myself in. Why is that helpful? Well, when I'm playing guitar, I'm kind of, my hands are kind of tied, right? I can't really go punch that in and then hit it. So that's why this can be so handy. I can play a part, and then I can punch parts in by just stomping on the pedal while I'm playing. It's a much smoother transition, and it saves you a lot of time having to edit and drag things around later. Let me show you what that's like. Here we go. Okay, so I got through, got through it, messed up a couple spots. I'm gonna punch myself in on those spots. So I'm gonna start playback, and then every time I hit the sustain pedal, it's gonna punch me into recording, then I'll hit it when I'm done to punch myself back out again. Here we go. So try the rhythmic thing, don't like it, undo, let's try it again. And you could do that over, you could make notes of every part in the song you messed up and punch yourself in and out and in and out throughout the entire song. Now that's, if, if you have to do that many punches, then it might be good just to start over and record a full take. But for something like that, where I really wanted to play that one chord differently, I can punch in that section and be done and then move on. And it's already there and it's gonna sound smooth and already edited. 
You don't hear the edit point. Studio One actually automatically adds the crossfade in, which is super cool. And there you go. So if you have a fader port or you've been thinking about getting one, it's pretty handy. It's got the single fader for volume control. It's got transport control. It's got a bunch of buttons I don't use. But this is an added feature that probably a lot of people don't know about. So if you're on the fence, I know they have a lot of fancier new fader ports, but this original OG gangster fader port is awesome. Definitely worth checking out. I'm Joe from Home Studio Corner. If you like recording and you want more tips like this, get my recording cheat sheet. It's a PDF. You download it. It's free. Check it out at recordingcheatsheet.com. And I'll see you on the flippity flip. Bye.